We are broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. And the Mutant Eaters have a proud history in the MFL of winning just about everything but the really big game that matters. Well, maybe that's why they have the same exact number of bars and churches. Hey, shut up and pass the tater tots, huh? Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Carolina Panthers battle the Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlined on my now the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up third and one. Saved a touchdown on that deflection. And out comes the most underrated position in football the mighty punter. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick. And he just lets that one go. He says, No, thank you. And the defense downs it. It's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. No, oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God, I thought his head was gonna pop off like a big zit. First down and one. Six. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. 
Third down and three. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. Now this should be a chip shot for the kicker. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He is fighting for every yard. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, and he brings free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 20. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outman. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a red. At this point, with multiple intercepts. Wow! It's like a bloodmobile crashing into a slaughterhouse! And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of down. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. I got to see that one again. It was awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First and two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Listen to his fans howl. They love 
love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf in the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing. I just marked it as territory. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Oh, this is the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down and a lot. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. They could not connect on that play. Third down and eight. done for a first down. First down and seven. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and two. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stomped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Second down and seven. They just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And a hard run there picks up the first down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL.
Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. Hot one. He could go all the way. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Knocked him into the next time zone. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. That's what she said. Ah. Ah. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Ah, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and nine. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon eggs, kimchi. I'm mad at anything really tastes good. Oh, sure, now we can. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? <laughs> And that'll be second down and four. <laughs> Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, what a hit. Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10-story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. No, oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. He refuses to go down. Oh, the unstoppable. 
all fours meets the explodable object. Ah, oh, pow! Bingo, bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! First and ten. And that catch will give them a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Two, one. I think the ginormous guy. And like a monkey trying to fuck a great his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's in the 20. The 10. Oh man, he re touchdown! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. down in less than a year. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, tight. Quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Third down and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He's not going down. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Bricks, they're going for two here. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Second down and four. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. And he 
breaks away. <laughs> and they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. Second down in a very lot. And another interception. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he just slipped away like a... And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... Defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Hot two. Hot. Hot. He's rough. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Close, but no cigar. Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Oh, oh, oh. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All he needed is 77 to fight it. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Oh. <laughs> well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs> The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Move, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> oh. 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And he's off to the races. He might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Rix's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet cop. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color jersey as his cleats are. No doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, "I'm taking you with me." Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The 30, the 20, he's at the 10, touchdown! Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. down and change the entire game but I don't want to nitpick you know sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back and he booted a high arcing rainbow the punt goes into the end zone and it's a touchback and it's first and ten hot, hot one hot two hey. Man, 
nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, don't you tell me I'm power. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, good run. He nearly broke it open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex in lockup last night. Nearly ain't a good thing, Grim. Trust me. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeves this era. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two. Hot. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. You've got to catch that. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. Nice catch, and he turns up. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler. And... It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm... the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. <laughs> Exception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck. To oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla's bag of potato chips. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. And it's first and ten. Oh. And the back gets.
gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Man, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. He could go all the way. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that was a... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! And it's first and ten. your buzz on in the NFL. Man, I'm two fifths into this bottle of scotch. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Man, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down in a mile. And that's another turnover for the defense. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. And he finds oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.